welcome Elena and thank you for taking the time to show your tool the space manager so can you like, introduce yourself a little bit yes um thanks Miguel for having me first of all um so uh, I'm Elena uh, I work as a mid-level uh, rigging artist at Remedy Entertainment uh, and we've been using MGear for a few years now um, and there's this one tool that we um, developed in-house uh, or I developed in-house uh, and then we figure out that like um, it could be an opportunity to give back to the um, MGear open source community um, so the tool is in question, as you uh, mentioned, uh, it's this one, Space Manager. Um, well, it's for um, managing spaces. Um, um, currently, there's not much that I uh, can show, but I wanted to pick something uh, visually appealing. So uh, I picked up one of the um, community um, rigs uh, made by uh, Emilio Serrano so it's this one uh, it's this one is a gorgeous rig um, uh, I think done by two years ago um, yeah it did I think it did a, a little monster that I think it's the same kind of universe and some people was using it to make it fight each other I saw it the other day on, yes on Twitter yeah that's great awesome um, so basically, uh, I picked up this guy uh, and yeah, it's weapon. Um, and the way to use space manager is it basically, uh, I mean, in reality, um, <laughs> this gun already has a lot of spaces, but let's say there is none or we want to add a very special space. Um, so we go here. Um, we have the tree vent, so um, the one that we want to drive. Uh, then we want to pick something uh, to drive the actual thing. So it could be this one, or it could be um, ideally something. Let's pick this one uh, and then the world controller. Um, let's do it this way. This one, this one, this one. Let's get rid of this one. Now it's nicer. And then we need to pick up the uh, constraint times. Currently, it's supporting point oriented and scale constraints. Uh, then there's the setting if we want to maintain the offset or, or not by default on. Um, then you can pick up the menu name. So um, I'm going to call it weapon, base, uh, and then I'm going to call this one arm and world. Um, and then by default, this space uh, would be added to the um, driven's attributes. But I was thinking that it would be cool to put it to the same place where all the other spaces are. So this one, uh, this one. Um, the tool also supports like either in them. So it's like similar to this one. So it's like on, only on, on, off or if you want to flow so that it's like blending smoothly between two one, then you can use float, but this time we are gonna use the enum. Um, and then we can test the tool by just running it here. And it did the thing. Um, and now if we move this one, the weapon is moving the hand. Uh, and then if we go to the weapon settings, now we can see that it says weapon space. Um, now if we put it to world, we see that it's no longer following um, the arm anymore. 
That's and great. then uh, uh, and so you can basically uh, add as any like as many um, spaces as you want, um, and then you can either just use this tool for like any rig empty or not by uh, running just this button like manually or um, the other um, option is that you can export um, Yes, so um, basically I've created a um, custom um, file type called SMD, so Space Manager Dictionary. Um, this way, um, you can save this one. Uh, and I will just quickly show how the file um, looks like. So it's very simple. It just lists everything as a dictionary. Uh, you can also pick this by hand if you want to. Um, and then here is another scene um, before the build has happened. So here, um, if we go to guide um, and settings and custom steps. So here I've um, added um, script um, it's very simple it's just calling um, a helper function uh, from the spice manager um, this um, this command is available on the space managers uh, readme so you can just copy the example from here and use that um, Then close. You can also see, like, as with all the uh, guides, the data is saved on the uh, guide route. Uh, and now, if we build from selection, um, this might take a while. So um, that's super nice, that Emilio included all the data that you need to reveal the rig. Yes, I mean, this is like, um, it's a treasure. It's so cool to like, uh, to be able to um, see behind the scenes. I only <clears throat> had a very like um, <clears throat> short moment with this rig, so I haven't even discovered all the systems, but um, so far everything um, I've seen has looked really cool. So. So here um, you can see that this web, um, I used a bit different name for the actual SMD file, but there's the weapon and there's the wrist and the world. So um. cool. So we can reveal that. Yes. That's amazing. Because, yeah, sometimes uh, when you design the components, you expect certain like uh, spaces to happen, but not in every situation you can uh, uh, foresee that in the, for the future and also like if you need specific uh, spaces in, in places that you didn't uh, plan ahead it's, it's super nice to have this this option now where you can basically choose a, any any space any reference and create new spaces that will switch as if it was built from the beginning like from scratch when uh, you build that default shift there. Yes, I think that this tool is definitely like um, it's optional. Like um, it shines when you need to add like something extra. Like maybe you have something um, that has been like iterated for a long time, and then you need something for this like really special case. Um, but like, I mean, of course, you can also write a post script to do these things, but. Um, it still helps to um, with keeping things in check. Maybe you want to share the same spaces for um, 
certain sets of characters, for example. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, thank you so much for the demo, Alina. That's amazing. Yeah, no problem. So cool to uh, be on this feature um, video. I've always um, checked those myself. So cool to be here now. Thank, thank you. you.